You know, I always do like a dry fit before I start just to see if everything's going to fit where I want it to go. And I put this, this spider web on here. It's stretchable. This thing has been sticking to me and my fingers and everything. You just can't like get away from it. It's worse than a regular spider web. Hi, Sherry. What's up with the pizza pan? Everybody's asking about the pizza pan. We'll just give it another minute, see how many pop on. We're going to actually make a Frankenstein. It's just a um, Dollar Tree pizza pan. And then what you do is when you first take the wrapping off of it, you want to really rough it up a little with some um, as high grit sandpaper as you can get. So the higher, the finer it is. And then you use, I use Krylon, which it has paint and a primer on it, in it. Okay. And you spray that on top, let it dry. Then I went back and I used this Krylon matte finish spray. And what it does, see, I didn't do this first, and I ended up getting some scratches on here. So you want to do paint and primer, and then the Krylon matte finish on top. Okay? And then you can put your, this is was done on my vinyl cutting machine. And then check this one out. Is this one not adorable? This one's going to be a scarecrow. Again, all done the same way. I just used the paint and primer because I didn't even sand because I didn't know about the sanding then. So, and this, this Krylon paint at Walmart is like under five dollars a can okay and this i think was like for five dollars a can thank you Jeannie. but isn't that cute so we're going to make a frankenstein tonight so we'll go ahead and get started i got a few things i can put on here but first i put the spider web on which every time i touch it it sticks to me it's driving me crazy. Eh. So, and not only did I do that, but this was another Dollar Tree find. I put a little thing of lights on it. And I'll tell you what, that that is really cute. It's battery operated, it's got a switch, and it's just enough to do one single strand around. Okay, so what I did was I took a nail and I punched a few holes in this because this was my first attempt at this and I didn't have it quite in the middle. So I had to reposition my holes a little bit. All right, so that's going to go under here and it's going to get tied to the frame. So is everybody having a good, good day so far? I've been painting away today. Did you all see my second chance Saturday? I'm doing um, videos on Saturday. Every Saturday there'll be a new video where I repurpose something into something else. And Saturday I did a placemat and transformed it into a wall decor sign. This wreath, do you mean, Karen? Or are you talking about that? Thank you, Kathleen.
this, um, these wreaths, I have several still available. It's a 160 tip pine wreath, black pine wreath. I love working with these. They're so versatile. There's so many things you can do. I already, oh crap. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking I already put the hanger on there, so I wanted to make sure that I had it in the right place when I tied it on. Thank you, Levine. That was the Dollar General placemat. Um, here it is here. Two bucks. My husband made made the um, frame to stretch it out on. Karen, if you want to know where to get them, you just contact me afterwards. They run $5.81 plus shipping. Okay, so we've got him in the middle. How's he look? Cute? I could probably turn these lights off for now. It just works with AA batteries. So, the pizza pan was a dollar. This stretchable spider web was a dollar. The lights were a dollar. And the wreath is $5.81. You're welcome. Then, I went ahead and I made some um, Frankenstein legs. Some Frankenstein hands. And then I also made him a little bow tie that I'm going to put there. And I also made him some chains. So I'm going to put his hands up right about there. And then we're going to attach the, the chain. So I'm going to do with this. Let's pull this through here. And what's nice about that about this too is I got a nice solid back on the wreath that I can attach my business card to. And these wreaths are really good for attaching things. So it'll be real sturdy for me to attach the chains or handcuffs or whatever you want to call them because I can just loop it around one of the uh, pine branches here they're all wired there okay so there's one hand oh no I gotta go in and around this yucky spider web again Ugh. Ugh. I hate this stuff Ugh. It just keeps sticking. Hi, Ann. I know where mostly everybody's from. Karen, where are you from? Ann, where are you from? Touch the chain up here. It's gonna get caught in that freaking spider web. Ugh. It's cute, but it's ew. Okay. Then I thought I'd put his bow tie about right here. And again, I can use the wire wreath base to put it in place. Whereabouts in Texas, Ann? I used to live in Texas a long time ago. Okay, so he's got a bow tie with a spider on it. And then we need to get his legs on there. So. Hi, Kathy. 
How are you? Kathy is in our group. Okay, so that's attached on that side. She's got some scrawny looking legs. No problem. We just, I was just showing everybody, we, I took a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and I used my vinyl cutter and made the Frankenstein head. I even made one for, um, thank you, Sherry. I even made one, we're gonna do a scarecrow too, eventually. And I put lights on this. The lights are from the Dollar Tree. Thanks to one of my puppy moms. Okay, where's that near? Kim or Ann. Here, Houston, Dallas, Abilene. The chain is actually made out of um, polypro or polypro webbing. I make um, dog leashes and collars and stuff so I cut the chains at seven inches and then I just hot glued it and held it together until it dried with a thank you Kathy with um, a clothespin all right so he there he is so far now we can turn the lights back on I do have some spiders to place around. I don't know if I want to put any bows on it. But how's he looking so far? And then I have um, some spiders we can put around. I also have some ghosts. Like I said, I don't know if I want to... Maybe we could put one. Well, um, back in the late 70s, early 80s, I lived in Texas. I lived in... El Campo, Wharton, um, I had friends in Bay City, um, I had, oh, this is what the pizza pan when it comes, this is what it looks like, it's a 12 incher. Okay, yep, yep, I used to live down there. All right, I thought I had another rope. Yeah, I do. What do you think? Put some spiders in the spider web. Could probably stretch that out more. Ugh. See what I mean? Oh man, I'm never using that again. There we go. He's got some spiders there. I have these. I thought these were adorable. Let me let you hear it. They're, they, they detect motion. <laughs> the colors are there, but I didn't think she looked that great in it. And then there's a ghost that they have too. That would get on my nerves after a while. Like I said, this has the colors. 
but I just didn't know where to put it. And it's not like you can hide it, because if you hide it, then you don't get the motion off of it. Thank you, Anne. Do you think he needs a couple of ghosts up in here? I thought they matched the green real good. I have this or I have um, some tubing. I could add some purple tubing in there. See, I think that it kind of takes away from everything else. And I don't know if I'm feeling these ghosts either. Oh no. It's stuck in the spider web. Oh geez. Well, that sucker's getting cut out of there. Look at that. It won't even cut out of there. Maybe just a few of the, these. What do you think? It's definitely one of a kind. I think he's got one leg longer than the other. <laughs> Poor guy. I think that's good. We could hang him up. If you want, we could we could work on a on the um, scarecrow one. Let's see if I can hang him up here. hanging up there too good. Really isn't any place I can hang them. Oh, you're too kind. Um, I'll get the wreath easel and I'll put them on that. I think I like him just the way he is. There's not the bow. I think if I put ribbon and all that on there, it would take away from it. And 
and I got to put another um, tie to hold them at the top. Well, that really didn't help any because I got nowhere to put them. Oh, brother. These are going to sit back here. And like I said, if you want, we can get started on the scarecrow. Let me see what I got. What do you think? That color? Or I could do this one. This one's really cool because it, it, it's uh, frayed edge burlap. Should we try the frayed edge? And see how that looks? Let's start with it and see what, see what happens. You never know. My mesh roller up here. It hasn't been on the table in a while. And heck, I got I got scarecrow ribbon. Ooh, let's have some fun. I didn't realize that that wouldn't take that long. Let's yeah, let's do this. Ooh, and this is sparkly too. We're going to create as we go. What do you think about that? And then we'll put this on the back. Put that up there. Has anybody ever used a pizza pan on a wreath? Oh, I think this is going to look cute. I was worried because that's so light about using this, but I think the texture on this will complement it. Alright. Let's do... Do like 10 inch. Let me see how this looks. I've never worked with this before. Let's do a 12 inch. Well, let's put it on there and see what it looks like. If not, what I can do is we can do um, we can do ruffles instead. Now, I think this has to be used for ruffles. All right. Let's cut one and see what it looks like as a ruffle. Because I think with it being a ruffle, you're going to get this on the outside. And I think that's the uh, look we're going for. 
let's do let's do 18 inches. All right. That's too too big. I have this in smaller. I don't think that's going to look right. But the smaller's lighter. Oh, am I frozen? Go back and come, go out and come back in again. See if that helps. See, I'm not, I mean, I know. Let's do this. Let's roll it like this, and let's go from here to here. I forget what this method is called for now. Wait a minute. From here to here. Yeah. That's what we want. All right, we're going to do that method, even though I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> we don't care. And we're going to do 12 inches. So, it's not the woodland. This is one that um, that Lori uses, and what you do, see where I put this one? We're going to put another one in there. So you're going to have like two ends in one, what the heck is the name of it? It's not the poof curl. But see, that's going to get the effect I want, which is all this fraying out. If I do it the other way, it's not going to work. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to get serious here and get out the roller cutters. Is anybody on from Lori's group that can tell us what this method is? Because I forget. Woodland is different because woodland, you you curl in both ends. This is not being curled in both ends. This is being poofed out in the middle. But see, I got my fray, frayed edges on the ends, see? Just rolling it up, grabbing it at both ends. You're overlapping with the last end. It goes in the same hole as the last one I put in there. And then see, I'm getting the effect I want. See, and then it's covering up the the reef frame really good. Look at that, you're getting two for the price of one tonight.
See, then you got one, one frayed end going one way and one going the other way. I like it. And then you poof out the middle. Oh, it's looking good. Looks like a like a scarecrow, right? Kathy, are you still on? That you would know what method this is. Poof curl. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Thank you. Except I don't know if I'm supposed to. No, I think I'm supposed to do it like that. But if I stretch it over there. Well, you know what? It's my wreath, and I'm doing it my way. Because there's no mistakes in designs. Right? Right. I love this mesh. Bev got a hold of this mesh somewhere and a bunch of us bought some off of her. Place was closing. The trick is you want to keep the seam, the cut edge underneath, and then poof up your middle. I'm loving it. see oh yeah he's gonna look so cute behind there Cutting these at 12 inches, 21 inch mesh. I know, right, Wendy? It's it's just called where'd I put the it's called frayed edge burlap mesh. And it's giving me the effect I want. It's gonna look like a scarecrow. See that? And then you end up in the first one you did. And you got your frayed ends out. Because see, if I would have wrapped it all around, those frayed ends would have disappeared. So this method is perfect for this mesh. All right.
how many are we going to try? Um, hi, Sue. You're not late, hon. We already did one wreath, though. <laughs> this was the first pizza pan. These are Frankenstein. I made the hands and the feet and then did the um, pizza pan. Use Krylon paint with primer and then a matte finish so you don't scratch it. And this is the second wreath we're doing, babe. We're making a scarecrow. How is that? I'm using the mesh I got from Bev. And we're doing the poof curl method. Thanks to uh, Louie who told me <laughs> what method we were using. Because I couldn't remember. So you put it in one, try and keep the uh, cut side down, We're cutting these at 12 inches, and then you poof out the middle, hi Lillian, how are you, We're working on our second wreath. Do y'all like how I put the time zones on it this time? Everybody's time zone? Because it gets hard trying to figure out who's who and where they're from and what time it is and so on. We're doing the poof curl method. This is our second wreath. The first was the pizza pan Frankenstein that I did. Got some um, 21 inch frayed burlap mesh here. We didn't, I didn't know that the other one wasn't going to take that long, so we decided to do a second one. So you're here for the second one. Good. Because <laughs> I know it's been driving everybody crazy. So that's why I posted that uh, map. And I thought, well, start using it. Because it's really hard when you don't know everybody and where they're from. And I can't remember the time zones. That ain't me. I don't have the thing down here to put the holes in that, so I'll just have to hold it up behind this, and then I'll, I'll post a picture tomorrow when it's finished. It'll be on there, Lillian. It'll be under videos. Um, it'll be posted to YouTube tomorrow. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel for Second Chance Saturdays. I had to go out again today. I hit another thrift store and I got some bargains that we're going to have some fun with. In fact, the lady said to me, you're usually not here on, on Mondays. <laughs> I said, I know, but I needed some stuff. <laughs> they know me down there. Thank you, dear. So, what are you going to make out of this, they say. Then they wanted to see the placemat, what I did with that, so... And I'll tell you what, if anybody wants to make candied apples for their wreaths, 
hit the thrift store. My gosh, they had so many apples down there. I was telling them what they do with those. And she said, well, don't you need any more? I said, no, I've been picking them up. I have enough. They got all kinds of fruit down there for like 29 cents, 39 cents. Those are some good bargains. glad this frame is as stiff as it is because this is kind of this mesh is nice but it's kind of soft and when I use soft mesh I like a good sturdy frame and look at that that method is really pulling that frayed end up see if I would have did it the other way it wouldn't have worked wouldn't have given it the same effect that's for sure Except you really have to look because you don't know if you put one in there already or not. It's very disguised. There. Um, it would be my American, my local American rescue workers thrift store. I actually have four in my area. And when you go, at least in Pennsylvania, they give you a card. And when you buy, each time, they mark it on the card. And after you spend a certain amount, I think it's 100 then you get $10 back. And Wednesdays are 20% off. I got pot lids. I got more candlesticks. I got, you know how you see those things sitting on people's tables and it, it's stacked upwards and it's, it's farmhouse is what it usually is. You know what I mean? There's more layers to it. We're going to paint this and decorate this farmhouse. Wendy, I actually got it from one of the girls in our group. Somebody was closing their store, so she went and bought all his mesh and sold it to us. I know I've seen it in the store. I know I've seen it in the 10-inch rolls. It's frayed edge burlap mesh. I like this because this has metallic through it. Um... Well, Goodwill would be a thrift store. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I got more pumpkins. I got an awesome turkey. I got some more candlesticks. Oh, and I even got the, um, you know, when you make a cornucopia, I even got one of those. I had a couple of those. And I, I got so many witch's brooms. It's awesome. All right. How's that looking so far? I'll have to move this down a little and fluff this around a little more. What do you think so far? Thank you. We all do, Rebecca. <laughs> but this is just the right size for this. All right, now, it's going to help me pick out the ribbon. I've got... And I've been dying to use it, and this will be perfect. Um, let's see. I'm going to end up probably making a hat for this guy because I think he needs a hat. Or. could take the I could paint this I could throw this out that's disgusting I think that's what I'll do I'll paint this 
maybe to match the ribbon. What do you think? And just have it like cocked on the side of his head here. This one was 29 cents. <laughs> Just had a bunch of ugly flowers glued on it. No more. That's what I'll do. I think I'll paint it this color and put it on there. But what do you think of this? This is awesome, isn't it? Okay, so in this ribbon, we've got orange, we've got green, we've got blue, we've got yellow. I think this green would match that green. What do you think of that? You like it like it is? You like it like this? All right, what if we took this off, this bow, and put a different bow on it? Ooh, I have this ribbon too. Look at that. What do you think of these colors together? Or am I getting too clashy? And this one? What if we took this and wrapped that around here? That ribbon. They got this thing really glued. What do you think of that? I think it needs to be folded. It's too wide. This is brown and orange. Is that the one you're talking about? This has pumpkins and gourds on it. I don't see any on any of the uh, I know. what if I did like a, a bow I can also um, glue something to the top of the hat too I have little pumpkins I have acorns I have flowers. Just trying to get like a bow on here. That looks cute. Do you like that? Yeah, I think the green and cream looks good on there. Let me see what little flowers I got. Or we could put a, should we put a sunflower on it? I actually have some orange and green sunflowers. They would look good with the orange on the wreath. What do you think? Or should we just let this hang down like this and put a bunch of flowers around it? Perfect. I think it needs some more. Like maybe three. Oh, I know what I got. Hold on. Check this out. It looks like a feather. What do you think? That one's crushed. We need a flat one. So 
not laying the way I thought it would. All right, ditch that idea. I better plug in my glue pot. Oh, it is plugged in. Uh-oh, if it's plugged in, then that means my computer's not plugged in. So before that dies, we'll plug that in. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'm loving this. We'll put that there and we'll let it stream down. And then we'll put... What do you think? That, that. Like that? Or like that? Can you see it? I'm trying to zoom you in down there. Can you see it now? Well, I'll tell you what, this computer is really crapping out on me. What do you think? That and maybe some other little things. We'll play with it. I like that. I think that's a good idea. All right, for our tails, what are we thinking? This one, this one, this one, and nope, not that one. We need a thin one. Oh, uh, what about this one? That's not it. Where is it? No, I know. What about this one? What do you think of those for? No, nope, wait a minute. I think we're ditching that one. What do you think of those? This one, this one, this one, and that one. Or this one, this one. Now, what do you think of those for? Yeah, they do, don't they, Brenda? I'm losing all the comments. Thank you, Tracy. We did a we did our little um, Frankenstein first, and we had enough time, so I had painted another pizza pan. As a scarecrow, so we're now doing the scarecrow. Thank you. All right, so we've chosen these four then, correct? All right, let's cut some ribbon. That's the ones we'll go with. And I'm sorry I didn't have this ready, but I didn't think we were going to do this. I think these two together... I don't know. What do you think? This one over here and that one over here. Yep, that's it. All right. We did the poof curl on this one so we could get all the 
frayed ends sticking up. So, put that over there. Move that a little bit. Let's do these at 12 inch. I've been dying to use this ribbon. I love the scarecrows. And they will be more scarecrows to come. I got more things we're going to do. just won't be able to put, um, attach this because I don't have any, um, hold the nail thing down here. So I will do that tomorrow and put that up, a picture of it, and then I'll get the hat in a better position than, eh, let's see, we got some glue. I think I like them spread around like that better. So we'll do that. Did everybody have a good day today? I can put some other little stuff in between too. There we go. That'll look cute. All right. We are designing on the fly. Sometimes you can have everything planned out, but when you get on that live, it doesn't always work out the way you expected. So we have 10 inch or 12 inch poof curls, 12 inch tails. Sorry if you guys are asking me things. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. I did see that. So now let me see if I can see it on here. <laughs> no? Oh, there we go. Now I think I got you. Thank you, everybody. Every time I see one of those hats, I grab it because you just never know when you're going to need one. And if you find the bigger ones, they're really cute to, um, you know, decorate those as a door hanging. Those of you tuning in late, 
We, um, we did Frankenstein already. He was on a pizza pan. And so is our scarecrow. You always have to use the Krylon paint with primer. They sell it at Walmart. And then they also have matte finish. I use that to preserve it. If you do that, you won't get scratches on it. Already cut that end. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put these on, and then at the end I'll dovetail them all. That way I'm not holding anybody up. All right, so we've got the scarecrow with the green. I still have to go around and poof some of these curls up. Then we've got the um, sunflower with the orange plaid. Feels like it's been ages since I did a mesh wreath. Don't forget, if you want to be notified when I go live, type live in the comments. Then when my bot sends you a message, reply to that message. You can say, get started. And if you haven't um, signed up for my um, YouTube channel, you might want to do that too. Because you don't want to miss Second Chance Saturday. It's not a live. I record it in the week, and then it goes on the, the YouTube channel on Saturday, just repurposing an item. Um, if you didn't see it, I took a placemat from Dollar General that was $2. My husband built a frame. You could even use a regular picture frame and stretched it over. Thank you, Peggy. And if you don't get notified, um, let me know. I go live every Monday night at 6.45, and then every Wednesday in the afternoon at 2 o'clock. And then make sure you sign up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive a Second Chance Saturday alerts when I post that. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for Saturday yet. There's a couple of really good things I have, but Oh, I'm loving these colors. Then I think we need a nice big juicy bow on here. I'm not done with the hat. I think there's some more I can do to that. 
but it's going to look cute. Cut theirs at 12 inches, but they're longer than 12 inches. Brenda, what I will be doing, what I did with the uh, Frankenstein, I take a nail, I turn this upside down, and I put four nail holes in it. I just, well, actually, I went this way. I went right on the edge of my husband's workbench and drew a nail through four corners. And then I used a pipe cleaner, and it just r attached right to the, um, the wire frame. And you'll see on this one, I only put three. I need to do another one right here. But this is a really nice wire frame, and it was nice for tying stuff to it. Okay, what am I missing? Okay. We ran a little short. So we've got that one. Okay, so, so we got two of those. And we need one more of these. Nope, two more. I don't see your question just keep asking and if I don't answer it I always go back over everything at the end usually the next day so if I don't see it tonight I will see it tomorrow may not have time guys to do the bow tonight but at least we'll have most of it put together so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like because I hadn't anticipated doing two tonight but I wanted to give you some more bang for your buck how many are going to try the pizza pan now? You know if you try it and you have problems, all you have to do is contact me. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions anytime after tonight. I used my, um, my vinyl cutter to make that. It's really not that hard. It'll end up like this. I'll have to mash some of this back. 
what do you think? Oh, thanks, Levon. I've been dying to use that ribbon, so this just worked out great. I'm trying to position it so you can see it better. I'll put this up here. Better that way. There's like a, a delay, so I'm having trouble. Thanks, Sherry. So you got Pizza Pan Scarecrow and Pizza Pan Frankenstein. With chains, with a little bow tie, with lights, with a darn stinking spider web that sticks to your hands. And, uh, Thank you, Ann. I know they sell these. There's a lot of these kits out there. But I like to make my own. Oh, I made the mistake of touching that darn spider web again. Does anybody have any questions? Hi, Marty. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Bobby Jean. Hi, Peggy. In our Scarecrow Cute, just a regular pizza pan. And I'll poke holes in them and then I'll attach them to the frame. I'll stick his, stick her hat on there. And then I'll make her a bow. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. Hey, Joanne. Welcome. I'm just running down through the comments, see if I missed any. Teresa, thrift store. 29 cents and 20% off. And then I just ripped all the flowers off it and we added the bow and the, and the uh, sunflowers. Thank you. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Helen. Yes, I did, Tracy. I have a I have a brother cut and scan. It's just like a cricket. And I purchased this design from Etsy. Uh, I don't know the name. Thank you. Um there's a, a I think there's like eight in a set. And that's where I got the Frankenstein head, too. I'm just checking to see if I missed anybody. 29 cents and 20% off. <laughs> and I went back today and I got a bunch of stuff. And I used my $10 that was on my get on the card from purchasing and I ended up coming out with over $20 worth of stuff for like $8. You are so welcome. And then tomorrow I'll put this in the back here. I'll make us a nice juicy bow. And then uh, get all this put aside. And with this frayed 21 inch the poof curl, poof curl was the only method that was going to get all that to stand out. And that, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. So I'm thrilled with that. Any more questions? Did I miss anybody? Did I get everybody's answered? No problem, Peggy. Thank you. 
Thank you, everybody. So who's going to try it? Is anybody going to try the pizza pan? Somebody said the pizza pans at Walmart were a heavy duty compared to the ones at the Dollar Tree. So she uh, she only uses those. They used to be eighty eight cents. Now they're a dollar fifty seven. She said. You are so welcome, Levon. My other biz bud. What do you want, Teresa? What do you mean me? Are you gonna try it? Cool. Just remember, get the Krylon paint and primer. Okay, I gave it two coats, and it's really easy because you just hold the one corner and you just spray it all over and then put it down, and then the matte finish was Krylon also, and that's what I put on top of it to keep the scratches to next to nothing, to a minimum, and then put the uh, vinyl on top of that. And, and I'll tell you what, it when I peeled off the contact paper, when I put my vinyl, um, when I put the face on the contact paper and I had to rub it down on here to get it to stick, when I pulled it up, it did not pull the paint up. So that's what I used. Did I answer all your questions? Oh, Peggy, you got to get that silhouette out. You got to start using that. There are so many videos on YouTube on how to use that. What's that guy's name? There's a guy that that's all he does is cricket stuff. Oh, Lori told us, and she watches them all the time. Tanner Bell. That's his name. I mean, can you see this at Christmas doing a snowman? These are Dollar Tree, and they were a dollar. The ones at Walmart are a little heavy duty, and they're like a dollar fifty-seven. <laughs> you can get carried away with that, huh, Peggy? But it's awesome. It's so easy. This Krylon paint. Well, this one that has 25% more, this was, I think, like four something. And I've used this a lot because, let me show you. I've been spraying all my grapevines. Because see this. I have a sign that I can put in the middle here, or I can make this into a pumpkin. I can put the stem up here and, and the leaves. So there, that Krylon paint is awesome. And it's paint and primer all in one. Because see, that's the main thing you want to do with these. You want to make sure they're primed. So if you're not buying it, what color? What? I'm not sure I get that, Peggy. What? This is orange. It's called pumpkin orange. Um, this was just like a, I don't have the can down here. It was just a, like a taupe. You could, but I'm not sure. It depends on if the plate charger is plastic. You know, this is metal. So to put a hole in through here, you just have to hammer a nail down through it. A charger plate, if the charger plate is, and I have charger plates. Because that's one thing we we're going to do. We we're going to put a saying on this too. This is a charger plate and this is met. This is plastic. So I don't know how you would put a hole in that without breaking. <laughs> I know you're waiting on that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, 
I, th I, I haven't found the right saying for this. Then I have the red and black check charger plates for Christmas. I have to do a class with these, so. Oh, that's cool, Peggy. Get those hats out. Yes, and I got, I got the splatter ones. I got the one with the little knob in the middle because there's something you can do with that. So I sprayed one today to see how that goes. And that so far is looking pretty good. Um, you know what else they have that's real big right now? They have the plastic egg cartons at the Dollar Tree, and you can't always find them. They have the cutest sayings that you can put on the side of it. When I make one, I when I get them, because I have to order them, because um, they don't have them in our local one. When I make one, I will post it. You have put the holes in the chargers, and how did they hold up? Did they crack? Like when they get cold, if this is on a door, when they get cold, do they crack? That's my that's my only concern about these. That's why I thought these would be better. And see, it's awesome because now you have a permanent back to it to display your um, to tape your uh, business card to. Right. All right, guys, I think I'm going to have to go, but I will finish this up. If you have any questions at any time, don't hesitate, okay? Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. This was my first attempt at this. The first one, I didn't sand. I used the right primer, but I didn't put the matte finish on top and I got some scratches. Yeah, you could use cable ties. Yep. Cable ties or, um, or pipe cleaners, floral wire. You might even be able to take those, are you talking about those little plastic cable tie things that mount? Aw, oh, thank you, Peggy. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I think I just got an idea. Oh, wouldn't that be cute for a centerpiece? And then have like three candles in here and then have some florals around here. Oh, here I go again. Sometimes my mind just goes, I can't get it to stop. Do you guys ever have that problem in the middle of the night? Oh, I do. Oh, wait, I have to show you this. Isn't he cute? He's got lights, too. lights aren't working. You know why? Because I left it on and it was in the box all day. But he was there today. And I thought, wouldn't he look cute in the middle of a wreath? Thanks, Marty. That's what I have to do. I have to keep it by my bed. But I bet you I could put him in the middle of that plate. And see, anything I get from the thrift store that, you know, is material fabric-wise, I'm really big with Norwex, and I spray it with the Norwex, and it takes care of all the bacteria in it. 
It'll probably be done tomorrow morning sometime, Marty. Then I'll get it posted. Okay. All right, guys. You guys are awesome. I enjoyed it. And thank you for sharing and stopping by and all that stuff. All right. Look for me on Tuesday and sign up to be notified here and on my YouTube if you would. Okay? Thank you. Thanks for all the love. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Good night.